we're going to be playing with some direction changes, especially the eight ball change. Welcome back again, ladies and gentlemen. It's good to see all your smiling faces once again. But if this is the first time you're meeting me, I'm AJ47 from Soul Mavericks Crew. On this channel, I try to make the best breaking tutorials I can for you guys to help coach you through your breaking journey. If that sounds like something that you're after, consider subscribing by hitting the bell icon, and that way you'll get notified every time I post a new video. Now, I've been playing with these eight ball changes and these direction changes for a little while because when I mash up my knee or I injured my knee, um, I couldn't do any direction changes, let alone, I, let alone, I couldn't even do any footwork. So um, once I had healed myself in the gym by like, you know, taking care of my knee, doing the proper physio, um, I started playing with loads of direction changes just so I, I could, yeah, pretty much do footwork, period, but of course do it the other way. So in this, in this video, I've got some fun uh, switches that have combined some steps and some flows together that you guys can use. Don't be afraid to take what you like, break it apart, combine a couple of the steps together to make something completely new. Um, and just try and get creative with it. Don't just run it how it is. Try and play, basically. And uh, for me, this is a lot of fun. And I hope that you guys enjoy this video as well. Without further ado, let's get into this video. We're gonna start with the eight ball changes. The easiest, um, and everything else is kind of based off of that idea. Even though that some of the, some of the later steps are not actually an eight ball change because the direction change is not hidden. An eight ball change is where the change of direction is hidden. Okay, so the first one is the cheeky one because it's very simple. You do a six step, all the way around, one, two, three, four, five, six. You swing across only slightly and then you give a little flick and you go back around the other way. Okay, same thing, swing across, do a little flick and go back around the other way. Hence the cheeky eight ball change. Next one. <laughs> I'm going to call this one the swinging able change. The reason why is because I'm technically using a monkey swing at the front to then change direction. So a monkey swing is this, okay, and then the six step, six step all the way around. As you get around to the front, big swing, change direction. It kind of changes your angle a little bit. Same thing on the other side, and change direction, okay? Same thing when you get to the front, big swing, change direction, okay? So you, your six step goes from being here, to like at the sides here. Many of the variations I'm gonna show you guys are based off of these two variations of the able change. This next variation I'm gonna show you guys is based off of the swinging able change. And it's basically got a half spider and a pretzel and a blender inside of it, which then changes direction. I'm gonna show you guys what it's like. Me and my friend Marco actually made this one up, um, but it has a freeze inside of it. But for this tutorial, I'm taking the freeze out so it more closely matches the eight ball. Um, this is fresh and it's really fun to do, and I hope you guys like this one as well. So you'll start your six step and you'll go to position three, which is at the back. So you'll go one, two, three, and then you'll place this knee down, swing this leg across, clap like this. So you have to kind of practice this. You don't need to be flexible because my boy is not flexible at all. Um, but you kind of have to get this recoil effect to make it look good. So you've got this recoil, pretzel, okay? And then from here, we're kind of at this angle now. And it goes back into the eight like this, okay? Same thing on the other side. Recoil around, same thing now in this way. You see what I'm saying? Knee down, over, swing around, back to this direction. This is why I love this one. This one's fresh. Just to go a little slower, just in case some of you guys have never seen these uh, texts before. Basically a half spider. Half spider, because obviously that's a full one. Half, half spider. Use the recoil to knock this bit leg back around. It goes into a pretzel. Storm's pretzel, but with a blender. And it tucks under, and goes all the way under. And as I get to here, I'm gonna flip this leg out and around to continue the six step back in the other direction. Knee down, same thing on the other side. Half spider, clack, swing round, pretzel then blender, pretzel, blender, same thing, flick this up and around, okay? Call that the Mark 47, Marco AJ47 collaboration. Boom, Mark 47. This next one is technically an eight ball 
change, but it's just at the back. So the change of direction is hidden at the back of footwork this time. Basically two six steps with a full spider, but one leg at a time, so like this. Over, over, back, back. And then this reverse step here, and then into a seven step, okay? And we'll come all the way around, repeat the same. I get to the back, full spider, just one at a time. And then I go into this step here, where the step is where the change of direction is hidden. Go over, two, two, round, boom, 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 change direction. Okay? Couple things all strung together. Takes a little while to get, but as you can see from the flip, it's quite fresh and I really like this one. You don't need to be flexible, as I said, it's all technique. You just have to work out the standing part. So just a tip on going over with the spider. Don't put yourself flat footed, you'll get stuck. You want to go on the ball of your foot, ball of your foot, swing it out and around, okay? So it's kind of like doing this, all right? But you actually have to stand up a little bit to do it. Give it a practice, you've got it. I believe in you guys. This next one is, I think is fairly more common. I think my, my, like many b-boys do this one. It's basically a CC with two hands, which goes into a dead leg. Okay, so you get to the front, I'll just start from the front, you know a six step's coming. So you go CC, underneath, dead leg, switch sides, back around, six step the other way, CC two hands for that nice strong looking shape, dead leg, back around, same thing on the other side, okay? Um, you can also cut out the, the, the six step, you don't need it. I mean, try and cut out some of the six steps, um, I mean, it's just change of direction drills that I'm getting you guys to do. You can actually just, you know, take away, take it back down to its rawest, bit most basic component parts and see what you can do with it. So the CC with the dead leg um, alternating on both sides just looks like this. CC, round, CC, round, CC, round, okay? So with the CC dead leg, the, the, the change of direction, the eight ball is hidden within the dead leg. Now moving on, this one is not uh, an eight ball change. It's not, it's not a hidden change, I just like it. This next one is a double-legged flow grab foot roll, or the Rubenator, which I think I'm saying it right. I think Storm named it after a German football player who used to slide in and, and tackle <laughs> players with two legs. I think that's what the story is. Can't quite remember. Maybe someone in the comment section can let me know. But anyway, this, this combination. Uh, the grab foot roll with the double legged flow or Rubenegger. Half a six step, Storm's Rubenegger. One, two, and then from here you're gonna change hands, grab this foot, and it's really easy. You go from the heel, you lift up, and you roll onto the toe. So now you can even do this slow. And you tuck in, really nice and easy. Thread, hook, change direction, yeah. Around one, two, three, one leg, two leg, grab the foot roll onto the toe and the hand, you can support this off the roll, thread, hook, change direction and repeat, okay? Easy. Right, this next one, this next one is basically a back hook. So a back hook is a hook on your back, effectively. So it's the hook, like this, we all know this, but you're gonna go onto your back. So the way you do that is as you hook, you roll onto the shoulder that's closest to the ground. So this side, roll straight away, keep your hips up, see this? Hips not on the floor, and then you bring your head, your shoulders, towards this hip, like this. So I'm coming towards you, so my shoulders are doing a, a semicircle, uh, so to speak. Nice, clean hook, don't do this. Some people do this, these kind of hooks, it's not really a hook, it just, it just looks ugly. So hook properly, come back around, Hook on this side, actually, when you get to here, you have to sit up a little bit. Sit up, and it'll take you back to a normal hook, and then you can swing back around to go to the other side. Okay, so there's two on your back, effectively. From here, I'm gonna go straight onto my back, watch. Straight on my back, on my back, and as I go back up, I'm sitting up to then charge back around and go to the other side again. On my back, on my back, sit up, back around the other way. Backwards. This next one is 
basically uh, an atomic half six step at the back. An atomic six step style, like this. You're gonna go round, and you go down to the elbow, here, across, tap. Use this hand to take you back up. Up, boom, boom. So now we're back at the front. I'm gonna change hands, and we'll go straight down onto the elbow again. Ha, 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 ha. Tap, ha. Six step, just so we're clear, is the six step that rotates like this. One, two, three, four, five, six. Other way, it's one, two, three, four, five, six. And again, um, the half six step I'm using is one, two, three, four. Tap, boom, 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 and return to the other side. One, two, three, four. Tap, boom, 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 boom. So now I'm just doing it with the elbow. Okay, watch. Boom, 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 tap, boom, 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 ha. Same thing on the other side. Boom, 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 ta, boom, 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 ta. Voila. This next one, the rolling thunder, I call it. You're literally just chucking yourself. But, you know, we're not hard, like, well. Like it's gotta be smooth. <laughs> it's gotta be smooth. Don't don't kill yourself doing this one. But like me, you know, I've got the mats and I've got the lining on top, so I can practice this kind of stuff. Uh, it was an investment. You know these mats underneath, underneath the liner here. Yeah, they're amazing. You can get them from Amazon for like thirty pounds, British pounds, but I don't know what it is in your currency. But they're wicked. So this setup is two of those. So I think that's sixty pounds. I can cover pretty much the living room space. I'm gonna link them down in the description below if you wanted to get like you know your set of jigsaw mats. It's good, trust me. Anyways, the rolling thunder. Just be warned, this this rolling thunder one takes up a lot of space. I mean even for me in this space, this is like three by three meter squared. Um, I kind of feel like I need a bit more space for this to really perform this move. This, this is a little pattern um, well. But I may do in this tutorial, I think. So, let's roll like this, and as I swing, swing. Oh, I thought I broke the ball. Thank God for that. Um, position three. One, two, three. Flat hand, hips slightly elevated back, uh, slightly pushed backwards. And I'm gonna cut underneath and roll like this. And as I get to here, I'm gonna use this to launch me up, back to here, and then with the eight ball change, the cheeky eight ball change, tap, back around the other way. One, two, three, roll. So like that, you see how that was really smooth? And around, cheeky eight ball change again. One, two, three, roll. Cheeky eight ball change, okay? Thank you very much for watching, ladies and gentlemen. I do hope you've enjoyed this video. I'm having a cup of tea at the moment. I'm dying after all that, actually, sweating like crazy. Anyways, um, if you are new to the channel, uh, consider subscribing if you like the kind of content that I'm posting. Smash the bell icon, and that way you'll get notified every time I post a new video. Um, like the video if you like it. When you do that, it kind of helps promote the, the video and the channel, so I'm um, yeah, forever grateful if you do that. And um, leave me a comment of things that you like, things that you don't like, things that you would like to learn, etc, etc. Um, I can do a lot more like this video that I made actually. Like, I mean, I've got tons more, I just couldn't fit more into, well, I could fit more into the video, but I was getting tired, so I didn't. <laughs> but um, if you'd like more of this stuff, um, I've got loads of it because I've been playing with it for ages and it's still fresh in my body because it's all new, new, new stuff I've learned for myself actually. So it's actually kind of cool to learn something that, to share something I've been learning you know, recently with you guys actually. Um, enough waffling from me. Anyways guys, I'm going to enjoy my hot cup of tea and turn in for the night. I hope you've enjoyed this video. Um, thank you for watching as always. Um, stay fresh and I'll catch you on the next one. Peace.